for Martin Luther King Jr. and Cesar Chavez would never think of fighting each other. They loved each other. Well, that was a message to Western high school students from a man who marched alongside both civil rights leaders. This is a campus made headlines for high profile fights this school year. And 13 Action News reporter Brian Callahan now tells you more about the message delivered to students and also what else is being done to change the campus culture. Dr. Robert Green now calls Las Vegas home, so he knows the issues the community faces when it comes to education and culture. He says he chose to come to Western High School today because he sees it as a sort of United Nations. Life in America is much better today. Dr. Robert Green spent nearly an hour with Western High School students highlighting his 50 years as part of the fight for social justice, a battle that started alongside Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And he said, hello, young man. And I was impressed with his fight and struggle for social justice in America. Part of the reason Western was chosen as the site for Dr. Green's speech was a string of high profile fights school police said were started because of racial differences. If you ever feel that you're going to get into a struggle with another student, think about it a second time. Don't do it. This is also why the former associate of Dr. King spent much of his time on stage with a picture of King's widow, Coretta Scott King, and fellow civil rights activist Cesar Chavez marching together. Martin Luther King Jr. and Cesar Chavez, brothers together. So young people, look around, look at yourselves, support each other. Green says he knows the struggles being felt in Las Vegas are not unique. Sometimes students begin to see each other as different, uh, not having the same uh, difficulties, not having the same challenges in life. Western High School principal Monica Cortez says the speech helped drive home a couple of important messages she's been trying to pass along to students, including the fact they can accomplish more by working together. The students need to understand that people are coming from all different perspectives, regardless of what their age is or their race. For their part, the students said they enjoyed the presentation and walked away knowing it's their responsibility to inspire change. We all need to come in peace and be be a part of stuff. Brian Callahan, 13 Action News, raising the bar. And 13 Action News is committed to raising the bar in education here in Southern Nevada. Yeah, well, we have shown you the impact it has had on the community and vice versa through stories about family involvement, student safety, and even absenteeism. But we need your help. So we're looking for members right now to join our advisory committee. We want community leaders, teachers, parents, and really anyone else who does have ideas about how to help improve our education system. All you got to do is send us an email to raisingthebar at ktnv.com and be sure to please include your name and your phone number as well.